Hello there and welcome. Welcome to Westeros. This is Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones mod, and I'll be playing a new series. What I'll be doing is I'll be starting in the Dance of Dragons bookmark, which um, is in the middle of a Targaryen civil war. We have, uh, we have Aegon II on the Iron Throne here with his Valyrian steel sword Blackfire, and he is um, being attacked by his sister Rhaenyra. She is a dragon rider and she. Uh, she has a son who's also a dragon rider, but of course it's called Dance of Dragons. There's quite a few dragons about. In fact, can I even check? Search dragon. Okay, oh yes, there's people in dragon area. Um, so if we go for my religion, here we go, so dragon rider, dragon rider. There's quite a few dragon riders, as you can see. And of course a dragon egg holder. This guy's a dragon? It's just like Lord White, just some guy. But anyway, this series will be different in the way I have set out very strict rules for myself. First off, there will be no bug abuse, no mechanic abuse, none of that stuff. Secondly, I'll only be keeping provinces personally within my own duchy, which starts off as the ring. So I'm limited to only keeping these three, uh, three duchies here. I can of course build them up with one extra castles, but first off we'll be starting with these three. Secondly, I will not be um, trying to inherit land, so I won't be matrilineal marriaging or marrying faraway houses like this to just usurp a whole high lordship or lord paramountcy. I won't be doing none of that. We'll only be marrying for alliances when they are necessary, and I will not be marrying off everybody. I want to try and keep the line small. I don't want to have like 30 relatives all over the place. I want to have it so... Maybe only he will breed. Maybe these guys won't breed. But yes, as we're on this page, let's introduce you to my character. We are Lord John the Bold of the Ring. We are a formidable fighter. We are ruthless. We are brave. And we have a Valyrian steel sword called Orphan Maker. We have, a, we have a family set up already. We have our wife, who is nobody special. But then we have our brother, who is Tristan Roxton, also a formidable fighter. Not as good as us, but he's still pretty good. For my sons, we start off with uh, Gorman Roxton, who's already eight and rather useless. We're actually going to uh, press this straight away. Ah, and he's now Roth, which I suppose Marshall plus one, the other was, eh, is kind of negative. But yes, we'll be educating him ourselves. Hopefully try and get that done a bit more. I actually have to, uh, this lasts for a year, so on the 1st of April next time I'll have to try again. Try and get him as fighting as well as possible. We also have Gunfor, who is currently useless, and we have Quentin. So first off, for things, I need to try and expand, like the war's going on. And this lady here has a bit of land underneath me, but she is far too powerful. She's got thousands of men all over the place. I currently don't. I can, however... I can train troops or I can train children. I'd rather train troops because we need troops. I'll have you to fabricate a claim on here. We'll have this guy to, of course, pacify the province. Is that the best treasure I have, honestly? Let's make Tristram. Uh, you can collect tax over here. We'll have you to scheme in here. And we'll have you to prosterilize. No, just have you to perform charity. So I want to take this castle she has underneath me. I need friends. Currently, I only have one marriageable uh, relative, which is, of course, Tristram Roxton. So, I have a look around, there's of course this guy over here, but I would rather have Lord Redlake, Lord Crane, Parman Crane's ancestor, Gorman of Redlake. He has daughters, or a daughter, but I would rather go for one of his sisters. I want to try and keep this sort of realistic, more roleplay-ish, and she is 33 and he is 38, so I think that is a more realistic match. So I'm going to go ahead and try and offer that marriage. Rather arrange a marriage between my brother and his sister. They will accept, so that will be an alliance. Very good, thank you. Now also before I start off, we have uh, ambitions. First off, I would like to become a High Lord. That is my ambition. I want to try and create a High Lordship with a ring, and I can start off by taking his land. He currently is 13, has no alliances, so that will be the easiest target out of the two, I believe. We also, uh, what else do we want? We are a fighting man, sort of. We're not really diplomatic. Schemey, we are a purely fighter. So I think something like hunting will uh, be the best option for this, uh, for this current character. 
You can decide upon Civil War sides, but first let's take on a Squire. Don't need to do anything else. So yes, I'll only be taking land women here. If I take land out of here, I will immediately land it. But first I'll have the High Lordship, so anybody I do land will become my uh, my guy. My vassal. Currently we start off very weak. So I'm not in the best position. Decide upon Civil Wars. I could do, but I'm not going to. Anything else I want to do? No, not really at all. Ah, I can change my succession laws. Um, we don't want that. Seniority, the oldest member of the dynasty, inherits all titles. Elective monarchy, nominate success from among themselves. Ah, uh, we don't want that. Yeah, we do we? Um, and can nominate a successor from among themselves. See, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Seniority, the oldest member of the dynasty, inherits all titles. Uh, we don't want that. See, do I want to keep it to a direct line or do I want to take... No, we'll keep it at this. I don't need to change that law. What's this? Only males can inherit. Cognatic. Let's go for only males can inherit, however. There we go. So here we go. Let's uh, let's get this marriage through and let's get started. Where's my marriage? So this lady here is already in this war, so she's actually going to march off her troops. Very, very convenient. He is offering me what? Chief General. I'll accept because you get paid a wage, I believe. I think you do. I think you do get paid a wage. Alright, here we go. We've got the dragons uh, fighting off already. Hopefully... It won't go too bad for certain people. But yes, I would appreciate that marriage. Here we go. So I have my... I have my ally. He reasonably likes me. I could try and make him like me a bit more, but I will not be doing that. Her, however, she has no allies. And all of her men are raised. It's 2,000 odd, 28. I think it's just 600 odd. Well, let's wait for her to run off a bit. We're in no rush. This war will not end uh, too soon. Send a letter to my liege. Ah, so I've already fixed up the levy over here. That's good of me. Is it not? I wonder how many of these guys are going up per uh, month. Of course, I have factions as well. Liege loyalists. I can make my liege like me. What can we go for? Seniority succession. Lord Victor for the reach. Let's, uh, let's join the liege loyalists. Why not? Make him have a higher opinion of us, I believe. Will it? Let's have a look. Good service, state diplomacy, faction member, ruthless. Right, okay, I'm not entirely sure if I do have a bonus or not. But yeah, she's already running off. Let's wait for her to get into the crown lands before we uh, make a move. So you're all sort of doing the same thing. Yes, we're all attacking him. Right, so she's buggered off with her 3,000 men. Let's... She has one ally now, which is Duskindale. Quite far away. Anyway, declare war, county claim on Coltsy Hall. Let's send that. And let's call in our friend, who actually has quite a few allies now. So I don't need to do anything for my son yet. There, he's already... Poor fighter. Did I do that? Ah. Anyway, well done. Well done, chap. Uh, you're currently five. You'll be needing an educator soon. So there are places I could try and uh, marry to, but I'm I'm gonna keep everything sort of role playish. We don't need to worry about everything so soon. Let's raise up all of our men, however many that is, which is hardly any at all. And who's this mace fella? Oh, he's huge. Ah, apparently I can't lead personally, and you can't lead because you are training men. Okay, can I resign from your council at all? Won't affect our opinion. Don't feel I was getting anything from it. Ah uh, well. So I'll be leading this John Roxton with Mace over here. Let's go. I'd rather not die personally, so let's award you as my bodyguard. I do not have bodyguards. You'll have a be the designated regent. We can also uh I'll be needing a cupbearer, so let's have a look at my court. Who do we have my court? Uh, any religion. Sort by opinion of our courts. We have the Maester. 
Humphrey of the Ring. He's just some hunter guy. Humphrey, courtier of the ring. Let's make you... Can he fight? He can't fight. Make him my uh, cup bearer. Sure, why not? Who else do we have in our court? Anybody uh, useful? No, it does not appear we have anybody useful whatsoever. Nobody can fight. Only the, uh, those that are related to us. Which is a shame. I would have liked to have somebody at least. But there are no Knights of the Ring. But yes, in case you did not guess, um, I have chosen this because it is the Ring. So I am currently Lord of the Ring. Which I thought was quite funny. In a very not quite funny sort of way. But yes, we're going to go and siege this castle here. She is reigning... Yep, she's reigning in this castle. Caswell Castle, I believe, is this. So if we'll be able to siege her out, hopefully my friends will come over and aid in that before she comes down and wrecks our day. Because, yeah, she'll arrive in Hammer Hall on the 26th. We'll arrive in Golden Grove on the 30th. So I might actually run off, to be honest. Away from Hammer Hall. 3rd of 1st of August. Alright, so I want to try and uh, write it with our friends here. She's going to Smithy in here. Alright, okay. Where's he going? Bitter Bridge. Alright, let's wait here. He's going down 21st. We'll see where he goes after that. We're currently in a bit of a stalemate, so we are reasonably fine for our position. He's going to lay good keep. Well, at least I can go in here now and we'll be a bit safer. Got a lot of other people fighting now on their dragons. Ah, my wife is pregnant. Ah, oh, fair enough. Another dance. Must be uh, this fella here, defeating them all. Let's have a look at his dragon. I'm not too familiar with the lore, so forgive me if I do uh, not know everything or make some mistakes, but yeah, he's got a dragon. Vagar. Is that one of the original? Yeah, that's Balerion. Balerion, Maraxis, Vagar. That's one of the original ones. Anyway, well done to him. So he, this lot are going to arrive here on the 14th of September. I don't think I really need that extra flank. Let's just get everybody on this one. The extra 28 men could hold us out for a bit. But he will uh, come over and aid me if they were to attack. So brave. What is he? Lord Paramount Dalton, the Red Kraken, has defeated a dragon. Does he not have any, uh, any commanders or whatever? Anyway, well done to you, Ironborn. Dalton. Dalton is the uh, the guy who has Nightfall before the Harlors get it. His parents did not have it, so I, I can't remember the, how he got it, but he, he got it somehow. But yes, we are here. We have 5,000 men. Are they attached to me? No. If they were... Did I, I didn't just go out to siege tonight. No, I did not. Good. So we can siege this out. We can capture her, and that'll be an instant 100%. And we'll be off to a good start. However, my heir needs to be groomed for command. Force trained ends on the 1st of April. Hopefully I'll uh, remember everything. But yes, hopefully I won't be spending all of my money on education because it is hard to save up. Is this war going in anyone's favour? Princess of the Iron Throne is winning. Well, I don't want to do anything until I finish this off because it might invalidate my war if we are both on the same side. Which is specifically why I have delayed it. It would, however, be nice to jump in and last minute to try and get a bit of extra relations. Who's Lord of Ashford? House Ashford. Of course. So the Reach is not getting involved. They raided us. We lost men. Oh, that's not very good, is it? But yes, hopefully a claim on this particular area will not take too long. 13 diplomacy. I don't have anybody better. That is a shame. There's one thing I would like, it is a good diplomat. Maybe there is one I could find? Right, who's this? So my second son is ready to be educated. I will... Uh, I'll send him off to be educated by my brother-in-law. He's my brother-in-law, yes? Yeah, he's my brother-in-law. I'll send him to be educated by my brother-in-law. Because that is something that often happens in uh, this sort of world. So, Gunt 4, go and have fun with Sir. Sir, whatchamacallit? 
I'll also offer to maybe take one of his children. I'm not sure. So we have some some mutual ben beneficial stuff. But yes, my three-year-old is afraid of the dark. We can try and address his uh, his fear. And we let him handle it on his own. I'd rather not. I think out of everything, I'd rather go for this. Right, so he's become a trusting young lad. He's third in line, so he's not too much of an issue. But yes, he's accepted. My uh, my second son is now his ward. How old is his second son? Maybe I should offer to educate his second son. Take him as my ward. Will not accept. Ah, you fool. Oh well. Reasonably safe. So I'd be gaining... Uh... Oh, she holds it directly, so I would take it myself, which would be a good start. I'm not the leader of the siege. Yes, I am. Don't you talk nonsense. I can pray for courage and gain one marshal. I don't really need that one marshal, so... Oh, but piety. Um, I'm not a zealous man, but I still would rather not lose all my piety. That does come in handy sometimes. I hardly make any money. So, Gunthor will, of course, be groomed for command himself as well. He's the second in line. He's taking all of my money. Which is a shame. Oh, well. Hopefully I'll gain something from sieging out this. On a second castle for a start would be nice. Invite to a plot. To buy uh, Russell of the Reach's loyalty. I'd rather not get involved. I mean, I'm not a plotty kind of guy, so let's just not involve ourselves. Right, let's imprison her entire family. Greedy, cruel. We'll imprison her entire family. So here we go. We have her. We have her heir. Can I ransom her heir over to her? No, I can't. She has 36 coins. Can I ransom him back at least? No. Doesn't appear I can ransom anybody. It's only these three I have. Uh, yes, I could. Ransom Dontos for 26. Ransom that guy for 10. No, no. It doesn't quite work. Right, let's just ransom her back her heir first. So I have another son, do I? Meribald. Let's go for Elwood. That's a nice name. Elwood Roxton. But what else was it? I just realised. Ah, yes. My son is now ready to be force trained again. Force train. I'm not in command. Okay, so after this war, I'll have to get it on. But first, I need their money. Because I'm in debt. There we go. Then, could I ransom her back her husband? Yes, an extra 10 gold, so I will go for it. You got a milk all the money you can in this. There we go. Wait, she's refused. She refused to ransom her husband? Hmm. I would rather not take the take the hit. Let's just end off our war. Off of peace. Enforce demands. So I now have two counties. Which could be an issue. But maybe not when I take over a high lordship. I mean, this castle is reasonably useless. I'd rather keep it for myself anyway. But let's go home. We need to get home, uh, release our men. Um, would I appreciate some help? No, stop bothering me with this nonsense. Let's disband our men. And let's force my child to train. Alright, it's 48% chance of success. He's become ruthless. Well, I suppose that's a good. He gets Intrigue, uh, Dual Skill Multiplier, so he is becoming a good commander at that. But anyway, that's what I'll call for the first episode. Thank you for watching this first episode. If you are, well, if you have enjoyed it, if you like the idea of this series, you can, of course, let me know in the comment section by telling me and liking the video, because liking the video, I'm, of course, a small channel. It helps with search results. It helps me grow. So I really appreciate it if you took the time just to do that. And, of course, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bear in mind, I have pre-recorded probably 12 episodes, so I will not be able to uh, take any advice into account. But I do appreciate you um, communicating with me throughout the series, so I'll see you in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.